Hey everybody, the Gaming Guru 51 here, and welcome back to Conker's Bad Fur Day. In the last episode, we met with Frankie the Pitchfork, who tried to hang himself and to no avail. That didn't work. I don't know how that even happens. We also helped the bee pollinate with a, dare I say, big breasted flower. Now, how often do you hear that in a sentence? In this episode, we're going to enter the top of the barn, and uh, maybe we can get Frankie out of his situation. You know, I love how the bats talk in like that squeaky sound but still swear at each other. I think that's hilarious. Now, what you're supposed to do here is supposed to walk over here, press the B button to release a fire, like a exterminate, like a fire, I don't even know, a flamethrower. However, you can really just jump over it and you'll be fine. I don't know what that cutscene was, but if you just jump over the, uh, the pipe things over here, then you don't have anything to worry about. After getting over here, you get some knives. Now, how the heck does Conquer have knives? Well, the contact sensitive pads give him exactly what he needs at a specific moment in time. If we swing the knives and try to hit Frankie off, maybe we can get him out of here because he's stuck there. He has no way of getting out of there. So just hit him a couple of times. <laughs> All right, so now that we got him out of the way or back down to the to reality, let's go talk to him. What's that for? Dumb sh yeah, yeah, dumb sh <laughs> Why is it you have to repeat everything I say? I, I, I don't repeat everything. I do I? Yes, you do, actually. Oh, sorry. What? Thank you, Mr. Squirrel. I was hanging up there by my pretty little neck. It was like one of them damn executions you hear about. The what? Um, yeah. Anyway, what are we gonna do about this guy over here? Well, what do you wanna do about it? I'll do anything for you, cause you is my bestest buddy in the whole wide world. <laughs> 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 um, just a second. Oh my goodness, that's hilarious. What exactly did you have in mind? Well now, just hop on the back here, and we're just gonna go for a ride. Yeah, okay, but don't get any funny ideas now. This is purely a means to an end. Well, I, I don't know what you're talking about. Okay, so now that we have the ability to ride the pitchfork, yes. You can ride the pitchfork. What you're supposed to do now is use this, the B button to try to hit him in the backside. And he starts burning up like a crisp. Alright, so you're going to be doing this a couple of times, but first you're trying to avoid him and not getting yourself killed. You're supposed to line yourself behind him. Uh, hopefully he'll stop moving at some point. Uh, stop moving, please. He's going to stop moving eventually, right? Alright, so if you get... Uh, is he going to stop moving? Alright, there he goes. So we can hit him in the backside. Or I, admit, or I can just completely mess this up big time. Alright, so eventually he's supposed to stop moving. And then we can get up to him and hit him. But he's not going to allow that to happen, is he? I do not think so. Alright, so maybe now he'll stop. Uh, yeah, sure enough. Oh, really? How am I butchering this so badly? I have no idea. This is not a hard part at all. Uh, if I can... I think I used the B button to avoid him. Alright, I think I... Alright, we have an opening right here. Ready? Uh, uh! No, I... We don't. I am the worst at this game, apparently. And... Alright, hit him. Perfect. What the heck? What the actual heck is going on? He uh, appears to be slightly mechanical. Slightly. Uh, so if I get behind him.
hurt my leg. Oh, no. Ah, what's up, little squirrel fella? Ah, we showed him, didn't we? Yeah, that was a piece of cake. Yeah, it was, actually. That makes a change. I don't think I like the sound of that music. I don't think I like the sound of that music either. Susie, nine millimeter. I'm right here, sweetie pie. You just tell me where to shoot. Oh. Oh. Meet the Terminator, the Haystack Edition. What the actual hell is going on in this game? Well, let me tell you something. I don't even know. And I'm gonna just sit here and let myself blow up. Also, yes, Conker does have a bad leg right now. He can't really uh, walk, so our main focus of movement is to go with the pitchfork. Now, what you're supposed to do is you have to make these um, these missiles fire at these each of these uh, pipes. And now, obviously, we know that electricity does not go well with water. If we let him walk into the water on his own, he is going to get zapped. And what does that mean? Well, if you take a look at behind him, he's going to start spinning here. And we have to jump and hit his button. Uh, if I can allow this, if I can just do this this time. Really, I missed? Okay, so I missed that time. Well, it doesn't really matter because he can just get himself zapped again and we can just allow this to happen. And of course, of freaking course, I am like screwing this up so much right now. So if he can just walk into the... Uh, the freaking water again, we should be able to do it again. Man, I don't know why I'm screwing this up all of a sudden. I'm usually, this is usually not a difficult part, but then again, what can I say? You're supposed to jump, yeah, like that. You're supposed to jump and press the B button when that light bulb flashes, and then you do damage. Now, you're supposed to do this uh, based on the amount of pipes that are in here, which I believe there's three in this area. So we have to go behind the pipe right now before he starts shooting off his missiles because we obviously don't want to take damage from those. And there we go, he has hit one. And oh, I didn't see that one. Okay, that would have been really bad had we taken damage there. So now it's pretty much rinse and repeat for the next two hits and we should be good. So as long as he goes into the water, like so, he can back up, start spinning again, and then we can just do the same trick. It's kind of finicky as to when you're allowed to press the B button to hit him or not, but... Alright, that time it worked out, so not bad at all. Alright, now he has no arms. Uh, I don't know what he's going to do, but he's going to do some bad things to us right now. I need to find a pipe pronto to get behind of. Like, right now. Uh, I believe this is the last one we haven't hit yet. And there we go, he has hit it. And, oh, missile! Don't want to get hit by that. That would be a really bad time. All right, Conker. Let's just wait for him to slowly jump around over here to the water. Or sewage, I guess. It's not really water. It's it's a liquid. That's all that matters, right? All right, so this should be the last hit, and we should take him down right here. Let's do it. Come on. Start spinning, and... Beautiful. We definitely showed him that time. Um, hey, Frankie. Frankie, where's he gone? Oh, no. Oh, no. Uh, uh, Mr. Squirrel, I think I'm a gardener. You don't look too good. Um, you may be all right. What do you mean, all right? Look at me. I'm broken in two. I'm just firewood from now. They'll be using me as toothpicks before you know it. No, you'll be all right. Come on. What are you going to do? Well, I got an idea. Okay, let's see. Hey, hold still. When does Conquer get tape? I'll never know. There you go. Good as new. Uh, well, it kind of feels all right. Uh, it ain't so bad after all. What do you think? 
Yeah, that's great. <laughs> what, what do you mean? No, that's great. You know, thank you, Mr. Squirrel. I think that of all the people in the world I've ever met, you has got to be the most generous, kindest, nicest, nicest, lovely spirit. Okay, yeah, no need to get sentimental. Anyway, we got to find a way out of here now. Yeah, you could be right. Uh-oh, that's not good. Yep, just typical. Oh, um, uh, anyway, Mr. Squirrel, I've, uh, I've got to go. See ya. Oh. <laughs> oh, well, I suppose I'd better start swimming. Hmm, don't like the look of those wires. Better be quick. How does he get out? I have no idea. But now it's time that we should probably make our escape. But it's not going to be that easy. If we go behind this pipe that's near the exit symbols, we're going to climb a ladder. And what are we going to do? <clears throat> well, let me tell you after we climb a little bit. First, what you're going to hear is this really scary music. This music I would expect to hear when you're going to die or something. I have no idea. What you're supposed to do is throw these knives at these uh, barbed wires. Or not barbed wire, but at these wires because they're creating electricity and water or sewage and electricity does not go well together. Now you kind of have a time limit to do this because if you don't have enough time, the water is going to rise and you're going to be totally screwed. So we, do, we really don't want that. So if I can just hit those wires we should be good you can actually hit them from here if you're really good I'm gonna see if I can try to do that here uh, no a little bit uh, no not quite well we've hit enough of the wire so we can just continue on going up to this ladder over here and then trying hitting at that wire from another angle because there's another B pad oh, and the water is going up that's fantastic luckily it's not a big deal because the electricity is not going to really affect me too much here, unless the water level rises, which it did. So that means that electricity is going to be a problem again. So let's just get up to this B-pad and start killing some wires. Starting with this one. And I believe... Oh, no, there's one all the way over there, man. If I can just hit that one, we should be good to go. And there we go. Yep, when you hear that... That's when you know you've hit all the uh, wires, and we can get out of here. So where the heck is the exit? Uh, it's kind of dark in this room. You can kind of not see it. Oh, it's right over here. The water level's still going up. So, alrighty then. Not too bad. Let's just wait for the water level to continue going up, and we can get the heck out of there. Holy crap! So where do we end up after all that nonsense? Well, you see this guy over here. Well, what you can do is you can jump on his little stone, and he'll raise you up. And if you come over here, if I don't take any stupid damage, there is money to be collected. So not bad at all. Here I am, you greedy bastard. Sounds good to me, man. Who wants to be a millionaire? Me, actually. Anybody would want to be a millionaire conquer. That's just how the world works. All right, so let's get the heck out of here. That was a trip. So what the heck do we do now? Well, let's just go on and climb all the way to the top of this ladder. All right, this is going to be a nice long climb, so I figured I could talk about some stuff. How's everybody doing today? It is a... Uh, what's today? Actually, I don't even know what today is. Oh, it's Friday. Man, I'm so stupid. How do I not? How do I know that it's Friday? Because I don't have classes today for school, so that's always nice. I don't have classes on Friday. It gives me a nice little uh, long weekend, so time to relax and you know record some more videos, which is also the best time I can spend on the weekend as well. So if we continue on climbing, we also have to avoid those bees or wasps or whatever they are. Those things could prove to be a problem if you let them be. Uh, if you get in the middle of their sight, or yeah then they're just going to knock you off and it's just not a good time so as you can clearly see we are really high up right now uh, so what you're supposed to do just make a jump and press B way to go conquer I give that a 10 out of 10 alright so that opened up that area 
what exactly did he open up? Well, this is one of those cases where the game doesn't really show you what you've opened unless you explore a little bit and you noticed, oh, hey, this area got opened up, so we could probably explore it now. So after taking a little bit of fall damage and just going back all the way down to the bottom and not killing ourselves in the process, uh, we can deduce that where we've opened up is, if we, if I can jump, no, I couldn't there, if we go over here, and if I can stop taking unnecessary damage, that would just be the best time, it opened up over here. And guess what? There's money over here as well. Also a nice time. Oh, another wise guy. Come on, then. Gotta love that money. Cool. I'm gonna have that gold card before you know it. Alright, so, there we go. We have opened up that area. So, I believe that's all there is to do for this uh, section of the game right now. So, where the heck do we go now? Well, as you probably remember from the first episode, was it the second episode? It was the second episode, I think. We oh, we had two paths to go. One of them was covered in all that shit. The other one was over here. So I believe it is now high time to head over to the shit. All right, so let's just make our way over there really quickly, which is over here, because it's always a fun time. Oh, crap. Yes. Conker has a freaking gas mask. Are you kidding me, game? Alright, so here's this house over here, which we can enter now. After we completed the uh, the Terminator and defeated the Terminator freaking thing, we can go inside this building. What is inside this building? Well, next time on Conker's Bad Fur Day, we're gonna find out. And as this place is completely full of shit, I'm guessing it's gonna be very, very pleasant for, for sure. So, with that being said, Thank you guys so very much for watching, and I'll see you next time for some more of Conker's Bad Fur Day.